Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're testing out some products on the Daily Driver, the Honda Accord. Got new tires on this a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, and as you can see they've got that browning the, from whatever the manufacturing process and it's just really ugly. I hate that when you get a new set of tires and they get like that and you, also you can see this car is pretty dirty. Uh, it's, there's no paint protection or anything on it currently so eventually we're going to have to correct the paint and get some sealant and wax on. So here's what I'm using. I've got my microfiber mitt, got Adams uh, rubber and tire, PNS brake buster. We're going to clean this thing up. There's my buckets for washing later, my Adams buckets. Spraying it down. It's my first time actually filming while I'm washing the car, so bear with me here. The wheels really weren't too dirty. A little bit of brake dust. But, uh, but those tires, yeah, I cannot stand that. So this is going to make you laugh here. I had a problem with the nozzle on the brake buster and as you can see from this angle I'm wasting a ton of products falling on the ground and some you can't really tell but product did actually make it on the wheels I ended up changing the sprayer on it after I did this wheel off camera and it's good to go now but no fun to waste a product and I didn't feel like I wanted to get moving here and get this done so you know it is what it is but I guess if you're going to film yourself, make sure you check everything, make sure everything's working properly before you start filming. That way you're not wasting time. We got the Adams tire and rubber cleaner. This stuff worked great. The spray bottles are real comfortable to use. The odor isn't too bad on either one of these products. Use a little on the wheel wells as well as on the tire. And I'm using a chemical guys brush here for the wheels and tires work really well. It's a good size. Good size brush. The bristle the bristles are soft enough. And this is the Adams barrel brush. You can see I'm spraying it off. I don't have any water in that bucket. I don't use a big third bucket. I just spray the tools off. I saw Matt Matt from Obsessed Garage do that. He's been doing that recently, and it's great, you know, and then you're not... There's no reason, I think, to have another bucket of water if you can... Unless your wheels are really, really filthy. So the barrel brush work really good. This is the smaller one. A little tight between the caliper right there and the wheel. But other than that, work really well. I was able to get all the way back. We're spraying off again here. I use the Karcher pressure washer. It's like 1700 PSI. Got the white nozzle, which is very, is, you know, you could save for wheels and tires and paint and glass and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about damaging anything. And I think the way to go is an electric pressure washer if you, for washing cars because you don't want to damage some of the high powered pressure washers. You could damage your paint. Anyway. Foaming the, foaming the wheel up now. We've got Adams Mega Foam, um, as you can see right there, and the Adams Foam Cannon. And I upgraded the Orifice to 1.1 mil, 1.1 millimeter. Now this, I love this. I've had this mitt forever, and it's like a glove, and you can really get in with your fingers. Um, it's pretty worn out actually, but this is a daily driver. This isn't anything fancy, so. I'm really not too worried if I made some minor damage or marring, which I don't believe I did anyway. I mean, these wheels are, this is a daily driver that's 19 years old, so I'm a car crazy, but not that crazy. Hard to believe this car is 19 years old. I mean, time is flying. I do like cars from this era because you've got a naturally aspirated six-cylinder. 
makes decent power for what it is. And as in a fast car, I think it's 240 horsepower, but it gets me around. And I love being invisible in this car. Sometimes it's cool to have a car where you're invisible to the police. It's a grandma spec, that's what I call it. Spraying it down now after washing it off. We'll take a look at the results. before and afters coming right up too. So we've got a pretty clean tire and wheel. It's nice and black now. Wheels look great. You can see in the wheel well there. So we're gonna go back and look at the before picture once again. Okay, here we go. See how brown and nasty, and these are new tires. I cannot stand the fact that they come like that from the factory. And after, much better, much better. Love it. Stay tuned for more, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.